Hi, I'm back. Oh, somebody texted me, of course. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> and we are here in Moldavia. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Alright, hang on. I'm surprised you guys liked this. I thought you were going to be like, This game is old, baby, baby. Look at his belly button. I'm poking it. Okay. Let's ask about him. My name is Dimitri Ivanov. I am the burgomaster of this town. <laughs> Moldavia is a valley surrounded by mountains. There used to be a road which led from here, but heavy rains have created a swamp at the base of the mountain south of here. No wagons can get in or out, nor can any person, except perhaps you. It didn't look that bad to me. Jeez, there's like a swamp and you go around it to get here. What the hell? This is the town of Mordavia. There is an inn and a shop down the street where you can spend the night, get some supplies, and be on your way. The sooner you leave, the better for all. There are many dangers in Mordavia, and we certainly don't need the 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 bad the, 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 the We certainly do not need a stranger to stir up new travelers. Let's ask about the inn. <laughs> do you want me to read everything? I'll read everything. <laughs> the hotel Mordavia has rooms and food. It is a safe place to spend the night. The shop does not carry much. We have been out. Uh, we have been cut off some. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> we have been cut off <laughs> from supplies for a while. Still, you may at least restock your food rations before you continue on with your travels. There are many strange and dangerous creatures that live in Mordavia. Trust nothing. The gates of this town are closed at sunset. Do not let yourself get caught outside at dark, for few can survive a Mordavian night or remain sane enough to speak of it. <laughs> uh, troubles. Just leave Mordavia quickly. No good comes from outsiders, and we do not want you here. Damn. Uh, enough already. <laughs> Look, it's, it's like... <laughs> okay. Uh, let's walk around. Let's, let's walk around the town. And then we'll we'll go inside the shops. Look at him, he's so nosy. Jeez. As you enter the northern part of town, you hear the sound of a chisel chipping away at the stone block. The man is carving gravestones at one end of the street. What a good job. Your attention quickly moves from the stone carver to the ominous gothic building in the center of the street. There is definitely something not right about this structure. Why is why is not right quoted? Does that need to be quoted? I mean, I would have taken it the same. Let me look at it. Let's look at it. This is a... Base? Bass? I don't know that word. Relief of a strange creature. It looks like an octopus with only six tentacles. So then it's a squid. They look different. It's okay. I'll I'll not make fun of it. You have a creepy feeling as if it's looking right back at you. It is. Hey, look at your friend. The hectopus seems somehow calmer as you present the dark one sign to it. You get the feeling that there's something it wants you to do with the sign. <sighs> Let's touch, actually, let's touch him. Igor didn't know you cared. <laughs> what do you want? I'll talk funny. Let's see. Oh, hey, now I want to talk to you. Why? Why? Igor. Just Igor. Building was Adventurers Guild. No Adventurers, no Guild. <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, uh, uh. Town. Town Mordavia. This is North Pounder. Jabba Jabba. This north part of town. This day job. Also, we're graveyard shift. Haha, <laughs> little graveyard humor there. Oh, you silly. <laughs> Igor div graves in Barbara in cemetery. <laughs> Igor put dead person in grave. Or <laughs> Igor covered dead person with dirt. Igor put dead stone on grave. Headstone on grave. <laughs> it's a dead stone. Plenty job security around here. Business is piling up. Haha, <laughs> little graveyard humor there. Again! With the. With the the, with the funny. Okay. Rumors. I go not hear rumors. I go not know some stranger in town. I go not know doctor makes strange things in lab. I go not know funny man and in not funny. I go not know many things. I go I go not hear many things. It's hard to talk like this guy does. Jeez, I want to add is and the. And I can't. Let's ask him about this place. Bad building. No go there. Bad, bad, bad. I'm going to go there. You can't stop me. Maybe I can go in here. Can I go in here? Uh, open it? The door is locked. Oh, well, son of a bee. It's completely silent beyond the door. Okay, well, um... Oh. Am I gonna get arrested? 
Bam ba ba dee. Rare example of a deadly Mordavian moose, distinguishable by its long fang like canines. Ugh. Someone has strung garlic around its neck, probably in hopes that it will stay on the wall. Whoa! <gasps> Pick one of these things up. Any more weight might strain your muscles. Try working with the weights you have in the baskets already. These ones? Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. Oh, well. Oh, well then. Can I put it up here? Oh, I can! I thought there was, like, multiple uses for this thing. I don't remember. Climb it. That was an interesting exercise in frustration. You really haven't a clue about how to climb. You just climb it! You idiot. What is this? This desk holds the adventurer's log, log book. A quill pen and an inkwell. Can I take it? Can I take it? Open desk drawer. Yes. That would be a lot easier if the desk had a drawer. <laughs> uh, sign it. With flourish. It's almost... Signed Arnold! <laughs> it's almost become a habit by now. Okay, what? Read it. You read in the adventurer's log about some of the exploits of past adventurers in Mordavia. Prominent among them is the story of Piotir? 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 And the Dark One's cult. Ooh. Near the end of the book, Piotr tells how he led the armies against the Chernovy cult outside the Dark One's cave. The fighters were trained soldiers, but the cult members fought like madmen. Because they're bad. Suddenly, the cult members changed their forms and became grotesque monsters. Many of the soldiers panicked and ran. The battle was nearly lost. Then Barbajar heard the voice of Irana. By all my will, I banish you to... Da -da 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 -da. The voice was cut off. The cult members screamed and ran. Barbajar entered the cave and searched for some sign of life. All he could find were the grotesque remains of cult members. The only sign of Irana was her magical staff lying on the ground. Barbajar picked it up and left the cave, knowing that Irana was beyond his help. Barbajar then tells how he brought the staff back to town and placed it in the town square. A garden of flowers instantly sprung up around it. Your wizard, Harry. Near the end of the book, Barbajar tells that he was going to seek out the rituals of the Dark One and destroy them. There are no later entries. <gasps> Just as it was, it was yeah, just as it was getting good. I can't talk today. Bah, 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 bah. I'm sorry. Force the case open. Hmm. Are you kidding? You have trouble forcing a mayonnaise jar open. Let her know a heavy case. You'll need to build up your strength before you can get through this one. Well, uh, the case looks totally solid, as if it were constructed around the sword. A, pl a plaque. I almost read plague. A plaque reads: "Break glass in emergency only." Well, then maybe it's nah. It's not emergency. What are these things, he? The painting shows a proud-looking adventurer standing on an obviously defeated dragon. It might have more of an, more impact if the dragon wasn't just as obviously winking. The plaque says, Wish you were here in Silmaria. Dunstan. Probably it, that's probably a joke referring to the earlier games that I just don't get because I didn't play them. There are a number of books on the shelf, including Hero Magazine's Golden Guild Guide to Mordavia, Flora, Fauna, and Folklore. Oh, cute cute. I'm gonna go touch it. You don't have any rations. You better- oh, I should get food. Are you kidding? It would probably bite your fingers off and suck the blood out of them. You better moose on out of this one. <laughs> moose out on this one, I know. Alright, let's leave. Let's go get food, because he's hungry, obviously. Where's- how do, how do I find out- oh god, how do I find out if I'm hungry? This? No. That's sleepy time. That, maybe? The time thing? No. I don't know. I think that means daytime. Made it new. Alright, we're gonna go to the inn and get some noms. <gasps> it's an old guy! Hey! Oh, look at him! I, I am Nikolai. Have you seen my Anna? Anna, have you seen my Anna? Oh, you're crazy. I'm looking for Anna. Have you seen Anna? No! She's dead! She's dead! Good luck, though. Keep looking. So you're still around, are you? When are you leaving Mordavia? 
when it's time for me to go to Winterhold. From the side of the Burgermeister's office, you cleverly deserve Barbara, phone, stop! That the Burgermeister works here. Oh, really? Hmm. It's been years since you studied Mordavian, but you think that Burgermeister might be the word for mayor, perhaps sheriff. Yeah, well, he's nosy enough. The sign reads General Store. You wonder how much of a commission the salespeople get. Why do you care? Sign simply reads In. I guess that means you should go in. Oh, these jokes. They got jokes. They got jokes. And jokes. And jokes. For days. You've entered a small but nicely furnished country inn. Stairs lead. That text message. Stairs lead up to the guest bedrooms. The floor is covered with sawdust and peanut shells. A barrel contains a few shells that manage to land in it. <laughs> the innkeeper stares at you with an expression of fear and astonishment. It is several seconds before he speaks. Whoa, he looks like a nasty fellow. This is the, ho this is the Hotel Mador Madaria. Rooms here are 15 kopecks for room and board. Hey, bye-bye, I missed it. Your room will be the first room at the top of the stairs. When you want food in the morning or evening, just sit down over there by the door. Okay, thank you for your payment. Alright, I wanna, um, I wanna sit. So, is that how I sit? Yes, I'm hungry. It is a typical country breakfast. Fried beets and sausage with garlic for garnish. Garlic is in everything, apparently. Hey! Did you eat? Did I, did I eat? You straighten out your jacket and retie your boots. Appearances count. Yes. Well, did I eat? 